Right now, authorities are working to crack down on a troubling trend. Brooks targeting unlocked cars, looking for guns, and we're now seeing video of just how fast they operate. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live in Davie with this crime alert you'll only see on 10. Andrew. This is a big problem across South Florida right now, but as we learned, also a really big problem across the country, and it's a crime that's leading to more crime. Every day, new reports. Busy burglars making moves, working in teams and targeting cars. It's been an ongoing trend. Car drives by, stops, backs up. They spotted the mirrors that were not folded in. A crime of opportunity because these cars are unlocked, say police. Davy detectives sharing this video saying these crooks are not just after loose change anymore. We've had uh, 10 firearms stolen from inside of vehicles where vehicles were left unlocked and uh, guns were stolen from inside. They were easily accessible to get. 10 guns stolen in just three weeks. The department alerting residents the weapons weren't even secured. Unlocked glove box, the middle compartment, um, in plain sight on a seat. That's something we cannot have. And Davy isn't alone. Several departments across the country reporting an increase in stolen guns that are ultimately used in violent crimes. The nonprofit Every Town for Gun Safety breaking down the FBI crime stats. The sharpest increase in gun thefts from unlocked cars was seen at the start of the pandemic when gun sales notably spiked. The report finding on average at least one gun is stolen from a car every 15 minutes. Other crimes are committed with that firearm when the criminals get them. You have your name on that weapon, right? That firearm, you could be tied to that. We don't want to make it easier for criminals to make crimes. You know, it's common sense, but it clearly needs to be said and people reminded not to leave guns in their cars and also to lock your car, take your key fob altogether. Davie police also want to encourage gun owners to make sure that you know the serial number to your weapons, to your firearms, just in case anything happens. That's the latest here in Davie. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.